GCSE Biology, Syllabus Statement 331. And here we're describing the process of evolution by means of natural selection. Evolution, we will define in a couple of different ways. Uh, the first one is a change in the form of organisms. Or perhaps you could think of that as the uh, new forms of organisms arising. And the second version of this, which is a little bit more technical, is um, a change in the frequency. So that's just how many. So a change in the frequency of alleles. Natural selection is the mechanism of evolution and was first proposed, as you know, by Charles Darwin. In this example, I'm going to illustrate change in allele frequency by means of natural selection in an example uh, which occurs in the past uh, century or so relating to the treatment of infections, skin infections, by the bacteria Staphylococcus aureus. Staphylococcus aureus causes skin infections, but it also causes infections of the lung and is associated today with infections resulting from uh, wounds and possibly from wounds in operations. So the organism that we're looking at evolving is Staphylococcus aureus. The normal form of Staphylococcus aureus, or the original form of Staphylococcus aureus, is susceptible to being killed by this molecule here. This molecule here is called methicillinin. And it's a type of antibiotic. So this chemical kills Staphylococcus aureus, and those Staphylococcus aureus which can be killed by this are described as the susceptible forms. So in our original population of Staphylococcus aureus, they are susceptible to the antibiotic methicillinin, and they're represented here, their frequency, the number of, is represented by this blue bar here. So this one here is Staphylococcus aureus, the susceptible form. We know this as MSSA, methicillinin susceptible Staphylococcus aureus. So let's put that there, MSSA. What's known to have occurred to Staphylococcus aureus was a random mutation a random mutation to the genome of Staphylococcus aureus, which allowed it to develop the characteristic of breaking down methicillinin. Because it can break down methicillinin, it is no longer killed by this antibiotic, and we describe this kind of Staphylococcus aureus as the resistant form. So what we notice then is that if we draw an extra bar here to represent the resistant form, here we have methicillinin susceptible Staphylococcus aureus, the one that dies when treated with the antibiotic, and here we have the methicillinin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. So now we've got two forms of the bacteria, which you'll remember having different forms, was one of our definitions of evolution. 
when antibiotics are applied to the population, this one, this population, is decreased. But because this form here is resistant to the antibiotic, they become increasingly common. And of course, that leads to our second definition of evolution, which is an increase in the frequency of the allele for resistance. There are two features to be noticed here. The first one was the random mutation. And the second one was the non-random selection. So there's the random mutation which produced the MRSA form and the non-random selection due to the antibiotic which is selecting the MRSA to survive and the MSSA to be selected and killed. These two components here are the classic features of the process of natural selection. It should be noted that natural selection is a process and not a thing. 